Hi guys, thanks a lot for the visit. I came across this video and uh, I decided to share it with us so that we will be careful. A lot of things are going on in our country, especially now that there is hunger, there is no money and things are just hard. A lot of people have decided to do the wrong thing to profit and to deceive people and to make people to be in a disadvantaged position. So I want you to watch this video. I want you to watch this video so guys watch this video i don't want to disclose the content but it's a video that you need to watch so that we'll be careful i uh, will be careful we pray that lord almighty will help us may god help us so watch the video uh good morning good afternoon fellow nigerians wherever you are seeing this video this is a very serious security alert i need you to be aware of and it's, it's, it's also a scam alert I need you to be aware of. It's happening now and it's uh, putting a lot of unsuspecting Nigerians under panic. So I need you to just watch this video and take your time to share this video. It might help somebody already. It has happened to me before and I was under panic. So it is out of experience. It's happening again and I want to reveal it to you. It's a very serious security tip I want to give you. Now, so if you are somebody who is a public figure or who is into doing advertisement for your business, so one way or the other, you, you, you used to do adverts and your number will be on poster or something. And so definitely people will call you. So these people... They are scammers and uh, fraudulent people. They take their time to take down your number and then they send you a message like this. I will maybe when I'm editing this video, I'll put the message maybe up so you see it. Now they send you a message like this. Maybe they call you, you, you did not pick or something, or maybe they will call you first and you. And you will pick. They will not talk. They will end the call. Then they will send you a message like this. I don't know if you can see it. I will just put the message. The message is something like this. And it reads, I've been calling you and you refuse to pick your call. No problem. I just want you to know that all your information is with us. Where you stand, including where you are right now. We are watching you and I promise you, I will... Let me, let me quote that word because of Facebook. I will acquire you and I will make... You feel the pain. I'll make you feel the pain before I buy you. Mark my words. I will visit you. Now, there is no human being on planet Earth, no matter how you think you are strong, that will see this message and not get panic. But me, I am telling you, there are lots of you who have gotten this message. I am telling you, do not be, don't panic. These are scammers. Their regular work they do is get your number from an advert you have done, and then they send you this message. Here is what they get to do. They now go as far as going to your WhatsApp. They know that that number is on WhatsApp. They will now send you a message like this, immediately. Now, I want to show you the time they sent me this message. They sent this message at 2 minutes after 10 a.m. I don't know if you can see this thing. This thing is 2 minutes after 10 a.m. About the same time, they went to my WhatsApp and dropped the same message Two minutes after 10 a.m. And then they say. Now they are not even smart. If you have this my number. On true Quella, He's going to show you that my name is Quaro. Now they went to true Quella, Got the name. And then they say Quaro Daria. And then they call my real name. Kenneth. And I say. The reason why I'm talking to you now. Is because of the way you be to me. Now person where they close to you. Now him want to buy you. All waiting him talk. I record everything on my phone here, including the video, including the video play and the voice note. Him no no say I did record everything. The money where him pay us no mean anything to me. Or say now because of three hundred k, where person pay me now him I go take by some someone and family. No, but I know the reason why I told my voice to calm down that I will call you because I know very well that the reason why I am asking you that. Who did you have issues with? And I, I don't want and I don't want and I don't want you to hide anything from me. I know answer. The person called right. Do you see the message I sent you on SMS? 
So you now, as somebody where they under panic, you now when they write. And what they usually do is, they will not carry military. This particular picture is what you will be seeing. I'll put the picture. Let me screenshot it. You will be seeing. They will now put it in their profile picture. So you say, hey, this one is now hired. Uh, hired uh, as I say, call people when they're quiet person. You know, when they fear, you will now ask them questions like, please talk to me. Who is this person? What have I done? So of you, you go as far as packing your family member from your house, begin to enter skelter. Listen, last year, from May till June, I was in London. I was abroad. I was doing my tour. So my phone number was available on all of the posters for people to call me. And I mean, I de, you understand? So I will pick my call or either my manager will pick. So I can see this kind of message. Oh my goodness, God. That's why I enter panic. Before you know, I don't call DSS. I don't call my close friends. I don't call police. I don't call the ones who I know for me. Say, see what they have for the person. They say, you know me. You know where I just stay and all that. You know, they too, they were on rest. Then I even, to even show you, DSS was said they were going to available to pick me from the airport the day I will land in Nigeria to be with me and all that, that they will get to track this person and all that. So, in the process of staying under that panic, I did not want to talk to too many people because now I did not trust anybody at that point. I now called somebody that is close to me. The person called they laugh, called say, no, this thing is a normal fraud. I said, no, be fraud. The person said, no, where I stay, say, you go buy me and all that and all that. Long story cut short. As I did, they took the thing. Kenny Black now posted the same message that somebody sent him this. I can't look my message, look the number, not the same thing. J1, we're saying, uh, we make you money, we make you money this year. He won't post the same thing. Before I know, I think one other person, I can't remember again, now posted, celebrities were now posting how. So when, when I think recently, comedian Kofi the Guru now posted, then he now made one revelation and I said, ah, so this is what is really happening. And I said, now, what these people do is that once you are a public figure, or somebody you have done an advert and over time, they get your number and just use it to do you scam. Now, if you panic, they have said somebody paid them 300,000 to buy me. If I come panic now and I tell them, say, eh, what do I go do? Me, I will come and they find money where I know get to give them that 300,000 naira. So, I'm just a boy here. You know, as somebody who likes to see uh people get favored or just any way to just cut down a ship that they are facing somebody sent me a dm and said he wanted to do an advert for just three hours for my instagram i said okay it did not occur to me people are very smart i will post this evidence to tell you the level of scam that's happening in this country with the kind of thing where people they go through now some people are dear they buy means every day to put you under panic to get to rip you the more you have to survive Current economic hardship happening in this country. Now, this person, one DM me, say he want to do a uh, advert for three hours. Say now, nah, job vacancy. Now, if you go in page, it looks so organic like, okay, people, this is people here has done visa for and all that. They are given care job in the UK that it is in Birmingham. Now, somebody who has been to the UK, I say, I know what a care job is. And now I ask him, I say, what are the requirements for people? To qualify for this particular thing. Me too, I did think I'm for my family member too. And I say, ah, at least one or two of my family members here apply. And I say, what will they pay to qualify? He said, nobody is paying anything. Because if you had told me somebody will pay for visa and all that, I will not do it. Because if it then scam one of my followers, he don't dent my image with that. So these people, they, work af they go after people with strong reputation, people that their fan base believe in so much. They now pay people to do the kind of adverts that will dent their reputation. That is why you see a content creator that somebody used, people used to love so much. All of a sudden, when they, maybe because he no get content again. They are now lost in confidence in his person because of the kind of advert he has agreed to do over time. This person now says he's paying me. I can say, okay, see what I did charge. You know, even the way they say, uh, are you posting it now? The way they... But they just tell me, say, this thing, they look ingenuine to me. The way he says, just for three hours, they'll start applying by one today. So I need it to go. This thing, I ran 10 a.m. 
I can say, okay, in some way, I send my candidates. I can say, I can't. See, this boy sent me a, a receipt from Access Bank. Now, what was he looking at? He now said, are you posting? I said, I'm posting. It's not a problem. He said, it's just for three hours. Then you can delete. You can off the comment section because some people know how to talk. And I said, off the comment section. I posted them off the comment. That appointment why off under 10 minutes. Nigeria go no say people don't tire for this country. Under 10 minutes, I'm not exaggerating. 200 people don't send me DM, say that they're interested in the work. And meanwhile, on that thing that boy sent me to post, or the person, because now I do, he was talking to me as a matured man, doctor, something doctor, which I'll post it. The phone number they did that they should just chat him on WhatsApp. Those are serious, he will take them off from there. I said, I didn't pay anything. He said, No. In the next 15 minutes, somebody now said, This person is asking for money. I said, No, nobody is to pay a dime. I could not ask the person tell me, say, uh, he said, make you pay 150k. Now I couldn't wait for the alert where this person sent me because he sent me receipt. I said, I've not seen your alert. He said, I access bank, you know, you know, access bank and their network. Now, when they say, okay, since the receipt there, and now look at the time when they send that money. It corresponds with the timing where he sent, with the time where I send that, that account. So, these boys are so tech savvy and so slick with their scam that immediate, they, they know how to edit, transfer slip, and forward to you. Me, I had posted this thing already, and you know social media. See, you can you can control what you have not said or what you have not typed but you can you can you can you can predict how many people you have but you cannot predict how many people's information you let out we get to under that 20 minutes i posted that in blogs and this one were carrying it were tagging me that it was on my page that they should just jump at this opportunity now everybody was chatting this boy people were asking me i was i, was, I just was going to one after the other, telling them it's a scam. It's a scam. I discovered the boy sent me fake alert. Now, boy, I will call him. Call him a small boy. Fake alert. And I discovered, and I said, wait, if this alert is delayed to enter for 10 minutes, no matter how bad I says my network can be, this boy is a scam. I went to delete it. In come in, I said, why did you delete it? And I said, if I get your time, inshallah, I will make sure say, the day where EFCC will catch you, I will be responsible for it. And if they catch you, I'll make sure say, I will see you. I will make sure say, I took an for your eye. Because if you can do this on my platform, it means you are coming out of my reputation. This is a very long video. I need you to take note of the kind of scam that is happening. There is one other one again, where they will send you that 75,000 error I've been sent to waiting, waiting, waiting. You will see all this kind of message. I'll be revealing all this nonsense that uh, you should call to kill it. Now you know the hunger is full of hunger. Anything that looks free, Nigerians they jump at it. I am telling you that the kind of people who wrote me in the DM that day that they wanted to leave this country as a kind people really don't tire for here. So you know when that kind of opportunity now presents itself and it look because it's coming from me, Serikindaria, they believe it's genuine, they now jump at it. Do you know what it cost me? Somebody even said, I'm unfollowing you. Why didn't you verify before you posted? It now looked like me. I did not do my due diligence on that thing before I posted it. I felt embarrassed and felt ashamed for myself. People are doing everything possible to make sure they rip you of the small savings you have in this country that is hard. So imagine this one now. Because I am doing my comedy show and my phone number is everywhere currently. Because I'm doing my tour around the note. And my first show in Abuja is April 13 in Congress for Transco Hilton. Serikin Daria multiple The number on that player is my number. So if you call me, my manager either pick or me pick. If the phone is with me, I pick. If it's with my manager, he picks. So this person now, just like it happened the last time I was doing my tour last year, he sent me a message again. Now I did not reply. He now sent again with another number. Just as we the talk. He said... He just said, okay. He said, you think I am joking with you, Abi? I know where you stay. He don't know where I stay. Now, you don't know where I stay. So, see, listen to me. You are a content creator. You are a comedian. You are a musician. You are a business owner. You, you do advice. You, 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 your number is out there. Even on your profile, 
you are lumber is there these guys will come to you this is the things they will send or maybe you are a big person in any public firm or something they come at you like this do not be scared i have told you now do not be scared i think the person tell me me i call her tell her and say bill i say you know what it won't make your mama cry for your head because if i need down pray for your mataba you know go tell you go just buy like how you they curious you they threaten me say you go find me i know say those kind of move person they pc this video me i am telling you say kind of i know they tell your papa na ogun go find you you that you are mad so fellow nigerians take note of this camera like, take your time if you cannot watch this video to this point share the video let somebody learn something thank you